Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. And only 50% of the people who watch our videos are subscribed. So do us a favor if you are not a part of that 50% yet and go down below, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Please. The Please. Last of Us 2 seems to be getting defended a lot for what it tried to do. I've even seen a lot of professional reviewers say, well, I'm, I gotta give points to the game for trying to do this, even for people who are giving negative reviews. And the fact of the matter is, I can't stand that. I don't give points to something because it tried. I don't give points to something because it tried and failed. I give points to something because it succeeded at what it wanted to do. And I think that Matt's on board with me. Maybe. We'll find out. Watch the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. All right, welcome to another video on the internet trashing The Last of Us 2 because, well, that game Why was not? terrible. Why not? Uh, it's, and I, I, I've, I've your, come that, is that your subjective or your objective? That is my objective. I mean, <laughs> that's objective <laughs> and subjective. <laughs> that game sucked. It was terrible. Here's and what, what you know. Honestly, I, I wish I could be that passionate about it. I really do because honestly, it was just this exhausting, pointless dreck that I'm just like. I, well, I, I, I I can't give it the time of day anymore. Well, I just and, can't. And, and here's a, well, no, because we actually took it off of the PlayStation. Well, and and, and here's where I'm at. Here's what, one here. of these one of these days when uh, I have some spare time and my PS4 back, um, I I might give it a second playthrough just on my own on a difficulty I enjoy, meaning hard or survivor, right? And just go through it again and just on my own try and just give it the benefit of the doubt, but. I tried to give it the benefit of the doubt on the initial, and I will say this. The game tried so hard in so many areas and failed at almost all of them. Well, and that's one of the things that I, I just cannot get behind. So many of the reviews that I have seen in defense of uh, The no, Last of and Us and I, I do agree with you on that one. Is that... They go, oh, well, they tried to do this, and you just didn't understand it. If you realize that they're trying to do this, and they're trying yeah. to do that, and they're try, 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 and I'm like... But they failed. Now, there are some people who think that the characterizations in the game were good. I do not know how. We've seen good characterization before. I, I've, I've, I know what good characterization looks like. I know we saw it in the like. first game. And the fact of the matter is it failed. But, okay, here's one of the things. Ready? Ready. Well, the game tried to be a Western revenge story. I, I the, the whole Western thing. Yeah, it's got a certain Western flair to it, the old gunslinger, well, right? Yeah. But but no, but that's what, that's what they were trying to go for. It's a Western revenge story. Well, the fact of the matter is, if it's going to be a Western revenge story, we usually see a Western revenge story from the viewpoint of one person. So if yes. we were going to see a Western revenge story from yes. someone, it sh we, we should have seen it but from But what Ellie. they tried to do is humanize the opposite side. Well, By the way, guys, there will be spoilers in this oh, video. Massive, so I'm massive, gonna give you a massive. quick countdown. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. one. Spoilers. Joel gets ahead. beat with a golf club. To death. I was gonna give him slightly more time, but anyway. We yes. gave him time. We, we gave him the countdown. Yeah, well, we we did. We did. I was just I was just gonna put a gate. But no, there, but, but, anyway, but here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, okay, so it's trying to be a Western revenge story. If it's trying to be a Western revenge story, and we've all seen Western revenge stories, I think, uh, oh, hopefully my Westerns aren't, uh, I believe, uh, The Quick and the Dead. Yeah, Quick and the Dead, I believe, is uh, one. Was Obviously, one of them, Tombstone. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Tombstone, the second uh, half, at least. Uh, uh, am I remembering The Quick and the Bad, The the, uh, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly properly? No, because that is actually one I have not seen, for yes. the fact. Yes. Um, but, uh, no, I've actually seen a fair amount of Westerns. I actually grew up but, with a lot of Westerns. I've seen the revenge stories in Westerns. And I am telling you right now, in Tombstone. no, Tombstone. In, in no Western revenge story that I have ever seen, Western meaning, you know, the cowboy, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. But in it, no it Western, Western story. Yeah, Western. it's a Western. Yeah. In a yeah. Western revenge story, I've never seen... Uh, uh, some and, and and pointed out comment down below if I'm wrong here because I would love to watch it. Right. But I've never seen a story where they try to make the antagonist, uh, you try to sympathize with the antagonist and then give the antagonist 
more than the the protagonist. Oh, uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. With Dutch, absolutely. They actually gave the antagonist more. Well, yeah, because he's in your camp. He's just there. You know he's the antagonist. You know it from the first game. But they get no Dutch. Red Dead Redemption Two. Oh. Oh, so they make him super sympathetic and all that you stuff. You understand where he's coming from and you watch his slow decline. You understand where he comes from. You understand why he is the way he is from game one. Okay, so he gets to ride off in the sunset with a girl at the end? <laughs> no. Really? Because that's what happened in The Last of Us 2. Uh, yeah, yeah. Again, again, and here's the thing. Is Here's the thing. is So many people want to rail on tropes, right? So he, many people want to rail was, on tropes. He ended and, free falling. You were right. And I'm free. And, and that's, that's our, our copyright. copyright. <laughs> <laughs> well done, good sir. Yes. Um, but no, what, one of the things that I want to, I really want to point out is that in a Western revenge tale, uh, generally the revenge tale can end in one of two ways. The gunslinger uh, riding off into the sunset with the girl. Uh, the, mm-hmm. it's, 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 it's the trope. Or the gunslinger, you know. The last standout in the shallow the, the grave. The last standout. They can do the last standout Stand in the shallow grave. Well, I guess there's one third thing is they go off into a quiet, secluded life. Uh, that too. So I guess yeah, there's yeah. kind of three yeah. different... You know, three different endings there. And the fact of the matter is, is in our Last of Us 2, our gunslinger lost everything. But is our gunslinger Ellie or Abby? Well, and that's and and that's the point here. Yeah. Is that that's part of why it fails is because the character that we are supposed to sympathize with in The Last of Us 2 is Abby. And the fact of the matter is is that we do not know why Ellie is Ellie. Now, if we want to talk about one of the other things, people say, well, the, here's the reason. The Last of Us 2 was good because Joel was a bad guy. I, yeah, no, that, that's, oh, more I nu- that. that's more nuanced. And that's I something that, that reason he, for he, Here's the thing, right, is that somewhere between 2013 and now, we seem to lose this idea of nuance. That somebody could do a bad thing for the right reason or somebody could do a morally ambiguous thing because they don't have the information and it'll come at the cost of a loved one. I, it's, but just to straight up and say, well, he doomed humanity and therefore he's bad. There's more nuance No, there. the only reason he doomed humanity is for people who do not, who do not ask deeper questions. And if so, you buy the game at face level, which nobody does anymore. I'm sorry. Nobody, nobody. buys movies at face level. Well, no, we're so, here, video here, here's, here's the at thing. base level. Here's the thing, right? Nobody. So we're supposed to take that Ellie was the cure, right, at face value. Mm-hmm. But we're also supposed to take that, you know, Abby is not a complete POS with some nuance. Mm-hmm. You can't have it both ways, guys. And this is really what I come down to is that they tried so hard with so many things, but all of them seemed to fall short outside of graphics. Uh, graphics and sound. and Well, the mechanics were... Acceptable. Well, I don't know. I'd give the mechanics. A the, you know, you improved on a seven-year-old game slightly. Good for you. Um, well, and that, well, and here's the thing: is the the the, the graphics sorry. don't even grab me the way that they should. Because here's the thing: especially with Naughty Dog what games, they're it's expected. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the problem: is that with Naughty Dog games, you just expect good graphics. I did not feel like the story in a story-driven game. Was properly held up, so so that's one of the things. So, is that so, so? Joel Joel becomes the bad guy only if you do not ask deeper questions from the first game. So they tried to make Wasn't him an a villain. actual cure. They Wasn't tried to make a- him a villain, and they didn't contextualize it properly. They tried to make Abby sympathetic, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry, her entire little, not little, it's half the game. Her her entire campaign uh, in the second half, she's just kind of a sorry piece of shit for the entire thing. No, everything I- she does is selfish. Everything. Well, and, and no, and everything she does is selfish. And I'm sorry, and I, I, I can't stand Neil Druckmann for this, but it took a trans character to look at Abby and say, you're a good person. Are you... Really, dude? Really, you're going to inject that much politics into this game when people do, wanted to avoid the politics? I, I'm not going to lie. The politics of that, they're, they're really... I'm actually going to be even more controversial than you are right now because I'm just going to throw this out there. Lev is borderline tokenism, if not just straight up tokenism. Oh, no, and I absolutely believe Lev is. Like, making Lev trans is just tokenism. Like, there is no plot relevance beyond the fact that evil, you know, religious, even though I think we can all agree that they're pseudo-Christian, 
um, cultists don't like the fact that he rejected his former identity, right? So ergo, but beyond that, what is his character? I mean, hell, we went through most of the game calling him Aang or the Avatar because... We didn't know him. There's no well, characterization so, there. The so thing, they tried to make this really the thing there. innocent, naive, you know, but kind and moral centered person, the Avatar. Um, and I, I, I'm the, serious because the joke was when when Abby tries to go and kill Dina and 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 I Airbenders and they did the mar- yeah, I, I was like Lev was like, Abby, don't. Airbenders don't I, I, kill. I, my joke was airbenders don't kill. Like that's that was the joke. So there was poor characterization. My question here is this, because I've seen people try to defend the moment where uh, 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 Joel and um, Joel's brother Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Sorry. Brain glitch for a second, yeah, but Joel yeah, yeah. and Tommy, and they're like, "Oh yeah, no, we live here, we live there. This and it's is like where we you go. want my zip and, code." And so they and tried. Like, they they oh, tried to put. You know, Tommy. And here, here's a defense. Okay, here's a defense yeah, I actually heard for this, and 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 narratively, this is just wrong. A defense that I heard for this. Well, well, no, because in the first game, they're trying not to be those same people, and they're trying not to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I need to finish my thought. Mm-hmm. And they're not trying to be those people, and mm-hmm. so it would make sense as to why they would want to help others. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Mm-mm. If I remember correctly, when Joel and Ellie got to Jackson in the first game, they were met at gunpoint. Yeah, they were. Because that is how the community in which they live protects themselves. Thusly meaning that by Tommy saying, we live here, come back with us. You want my social. Directly, <laughs> yeah, you want my social. He is directly violating what the Jackson community had set up. And so at that point, it's a narrative break. Uh, hi, I'm and here's Tommy. the problem. This is, this is and Joel. here is the problem. We have not seen anything. They're still going on patrols, which shows that they want to protect. They're still going on there's, patrols. There's obviously bad They're, people. There are zombies. Yes. There are whatever. So yep. they are still doing things to actively protect their community. So that is a break in the narrative. And okay. character. And this is... And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I cannot stand these defenses. Well... But but don't you know that violence is bad and then violence is just doesn't lead anywhere? Uh, no, that's actually wrong. Because if you look at the real world, when we look at things like war or we look at things violence? like bar actually. fights, bar fights actually do solve a certain level of conflict. And so it's does just war. Violence. It's just you don't violence like the is there. Cost Viol- of it. Exactly. Now, what you have to weigh is the violence versus the cost, right? And that's one thing is people say, well, violence is never the answer. And I actually disagree. I think that in some instances, violence is absolutely the answer. The question in The Last of Us 2 is, is the violence necessary? And that's my next point. There was so much violence in this, I mean, brutal Unrelenting, oh, they took the uncaring. Time to, they took the time to name just, the NPCs. So. Just violence, right? Was it necessary? Because necessary violence is a thing in this world. You may not like it. You may be too uh, tender spirited to accept it. But the fact of the matter is, violence is a necessary thing in the world until we, as the human race, evolved. Past the point which where we are. Which certainly doesn't come with mushroom zombies. No, it does not come with mushroom zombies. But the fact of the matter is you have to ask yourself, was the violence necessary? If you look at The Last of Us 1, okay, the violence that was done was to protect one's self. As in, if I do not commit this violence, I will die. And so that violence was necessary. So many times in the game, we saw violence just for violence's sake. For I could not be in this situation, but my character is going to be in this situation simply because the game says it is so. And thusly, that is a narrative break from the first game. These characters, Mm -hmm. Joel, at this point in time in his life, he was into the wheeling and dealing and only, and this is something we saw when we first saw Joel 20 years later in The Last of Us 1. Yeah, he might have had a dark past, but he was over it at that point. He didn't want to just go out and do the violence for violence's sake thing. If he ever did, we don't know. We're told that he did some dark stuff, but we don't know if it was necessary for survival 
at that point. And so in this game, we have to ask ourselves, is the violence that Ellie commits necessary? No. Is the violence that Abby commits necessary? No. And they actually go a very long way out of their way to show that Abby doesn't commit violence for, and in my favorite scene, the, you know, in my favorite scene where Big Sister dies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. So that's the thing. That is a narrative break, is that violence in the first game was used to save the protagonists, to defend the protagonists. Violence was not used in this game to do the same. Violence in this game was used just as a prop for the story, and I don't even think it was that good of a prop. And I'm sorry, that's just where I stand. Oh, wait, I get to talk? I actually get to talk? Holy crap. Shut up. 75% into the video. I get to talk. Oh, my God. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Anyway. Um, no. The, um, <laughs> so what you could say is that no, after that. No, screw you. You shut up because you knew that I was making a good point. No, I shut up because I knew I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Uh, <laughs> I hate you. I, I'm, I, that is factual. I hate that is you. an objective. I criticism. hate your babies. <laughs> I don't have any babies. Damn um, it. But no. The... Um, <laughs> So what you basically what so you're saying? So the violence you're about to see right now is unnecessary. I still don't get to talk. <laughs> I still don't get to talk. His jokes are more important. Anyway, so, so what you could say is that I'm trying to have a conversation, but I'm failing because of external circumstance. Anyway, no, but basically that entire 12 minute rant, what that is saying is that their whole premise is flawed. They tried to give this very nuanced Western gunslinger sort of, you know, violence begins violence. They tried to be very profound with it. That was the word I couldn't remember the other day. Yeah, uh, and they failed. I, they you, I they watched that video again. Mark. I thought you were going for pretentious. About that too. But, um, <laughs> but go on. But no, and they failed at it every step of the way. And as he just pointed out, all of the things he just listed shows just how flawed their storytelling was to even build the base of the plot. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you look at all the other things, trying to humanize Abby, well, you failed because of. Everything that precipitated it. Trying to make us sympathetic for her plight. You know, Joel killed her dad. But you ignore what Joel had to do in the previous game, where he came from, and even the odds of success, let alone the cost of attempting it. Not, e not the cost of success, the cost of attempting it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, I know that this is a very controversial point, but you cannot commit an evil to do a good. No. No, and and, and and well, and that's the other that's the other thing too is that this game decides that nobody is good, everybody is gray, and the fact of the matter is, is in real life that is not true. Yeah, there might be good people who do some bad things along the way, but okay? ends do not justify but they, the but means. That does, and and we look at those good people and we tell those good people you did a bad thing. There might be bad people out there that do a good thing, but we still call them bad people. Yes. Okay. And I'm not saying that things are one way or the other. I'm saying that things are a scale and you put a pebble in this one and a pebble in this one. And over the course of time, the scales of justice tip. How very and Egyptian in this of you. Game, well, the scales of justice are often referenced in many different religions. I'm actually pulling from my oh, own. Oh, I know, here. I know. And I think and Babylon so, and Egypt are some of the oldest. Um, um, well, no. But that's the thing is that it's, it's at the end of your life, you will be good or bad one way or the other. If you are perfectly... The heart, the heart versus the feather of truth, man. Yeah, um, and, and that's the biggest issue that I, I don't have. I not talk anymore. Sorry. That's I, my, I, I, I'll I, let my you go after this. My speaking allotment is over. Continue. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. I hate you. What I'm trying to say is that they tried to say that no one was good and everyone is e and everyone is neutral, and that bothers me because they blatantly put bad guys in. What were the ones that you didn't know the name of? The that the on the that you only knew. Oh, the, name? the rattlers. The only one. The ones I figured out the name from the freaking subtitles. Yeah, are they neutral too? <laughs> Who knows. The game tried so hard to make us like Abby. Failed. Tried to make us, you know, care about Lev. I, partial success. I mean, I always care about the Avatar. Hey. Um, I like Jesse. Jesse was cool. Yeah, but they shot him in the face. Yeah, I know. Um, For opening a door. I know. Poor guy. Always let the women go first. Moral of the story. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Men always that, open the door that and let the lady go first in case there's a bullet with your name on it. <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, 
<laughs> See, the, the problem was he wasn't chivalrous enough. That's why he <laughs> caught the bullet. Uh, they're trying to make us care about Jesse and then just off him. They're trying to make us care about Yara and then off her. So much of this, and I'm sick of seeing it defended based on what it tried because it failed at so much. It just failed in its pacing, its characterization to the point where you didn't care. We called Lev the Avatar for half of it because it's a short dude wearing, you know, with a shaved head wearing robes. That, Slap an arrow on his head, and he is ang. Well, I mean, he <laughs> shot a bow and arrow. That was where part of that came from. But no, and that's yeah, that that's my biggest problem. If you want to defend this game, very Tibetan. Go for it. If you want to defend this game, go for it. But do not say that it's good because of what it tried. Because of what it tried, it failed. It failed. And at you it. need to look at that. It failed in almost every regard, except for visuals, sound, and the mechanics were okay. So, in summation, stop defending the game for what it attempted. I don't give E for efforts. I don't give A for efforts. Just stop. It either did it well or it didn't. That's pretty binary. And yes, that is an objective thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, learn objective opinion. We have the video. It'll be somewhere over It'll here. be down here. And oh, we'll, we'll do here. it over, okay. the, over there, above his face. It'll be over here somewhere. So, yeah, watch that video. It'll, it'll be there. So yeah. anyway, I'm going to officially call this one Royce Rants About The Last of Us 2 for part, you know, for 20 minutes and Matt chimes in every now and again. That's the name of this video. Thank you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to hear more of his opinions. I'll just be over here chiming in every now and again because that's just the way this works. I hate you. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness. Comment um, down below how much you hate Matt right now. <laughs> I hate Matt right now. I'm going to comment down below how much I hate Matt right now. I've got like three different channels that I can go on and I can comment on this. Yeah, at video. least then the w people will be commenting. And anyway. do what he said to do. Go down below, <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And until next time, cheers, everybody. And thank you so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.